Hi right, guys, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, we have an old project back in the shop. The customer dropped it off for some service work. So we decided it'd be a good opportunity to give you guys a nice walk around and give you an update on the status of this truck. This truck is a 1979 Ford F-350 single rear wheel four wheel drive. We built it with a military theme. As you can tell, we have the desert tan and the OD green, and we're gonna give you guys a full walk around and show you all of the nitty gritty details of this build. Let's go ahead and open up the hood and we'll go through the engine details. So one thing you guys will notice is we actually installed Jeep style hood latches on this rig. So under the hood is a 7.3 liter power stroke diesel. It came out of a 2000 model Ford Excursion that we used as a donor rig. This installation was very, very difficult. It was not a very straightforward installation. At the time, there was no uh, specific aftermarket support for this swap, and so we kind of just had to make it up as we went. What we ended up using is we ended up using the intercooler um, out of the Excursion, as well as the airbox out of the Excursion and the Hydro Boost brake setup. Pretty much everything else needed to be custom fabricated. We built a custom radiator, as well as a custom overflow tank, installed vintage air conditioning with the AC lines going through a bulkhead, completely modified the firewall so that we would have access for the turbo down tube, as well as putting in dual batteries. If you guys are interested in more details about the installation, go back and check out our older uh, videos. We'll put links to those in the description. All right, coming up to the front, you can see we continued with some custom theme here. Iron Bull supplied the uh, winch bumper. And then one thing you'll also notice, we have a worn 12,000 pound winch, and we actually took this roller assembly fair lead off and had it replated in the mil spec uh, zinc plating. Coming around to the side of the truck, you can see we added in the digital camo into the dent side to try and kind of break up some of the tan. Wheels are a powder coated 17 inch, tires are a Toyo MT 3713.5. We got a lot of grief about comments about these mirrors. These mirrors at the time were a Chevy towing mirror for a GMT 400 platform. And that was really all we had to work with. I didn't think that the old style bulky barn style farm truck mirror would work with the theme that we were going with. And so these mirrors fit the bill. We deleted the wing windows and you know what? I got a lot of flack for deleting the wing windows, but they don't leak and this doesn't have any air whistles. We kept the toolbox and inside the toolbox, we added an air tank as well as a compressor for an air horn. All right, coming around to the rear of the truck, we continued the digital camo with the Ford uh, emblem in the tailgate. We also installed another 12,000 pound worn winch in the rear of the iron bull bumper. Inside of the bed of the truck, we opted for just your regular uh, spray-in style bed liner, but we also added in some under bed lights. Coming around to the interior of the truck, we kept the excursion bucket seats and we rewrapped them in premium King Ranch leather. And boy, if you guys could smell this interior, it smells absolutely amazing. We also used the King Ranch to redo the headliner, the center console painted green, and kept that from the excursion. For instrumentation, I built a completely custom instrument panel, utilizing as many gauges as I could possibly fit. In our previous video, we didn't have all of the professional labeling finished, now you can see that we've got a lot of extra switches, again, trying to maintain the military theme, as well as give people options for adding extra components as required. We have front and rear winch controls, front LED lights, the bed lights, and then the overdrive switch for the transmission. We went with an aftermarket steering wheel with the 
Ford logo and the horn. Flooring is uh, finished off with just your standard industrial style rubber mat. And air conditioning is vintage air. Have a Bluetooth stereo with the microphone up on the sun visor. Door panels are standard for door panels, but we added in the OD green perforated panel as well as the King Ranch leather wrapped armrests. Manual windows that are tinted. Rear window is a slider that is also tinted to match. All right, that's gonna wrap up the tour of the outside of this truck. Now we're gonna go put it on the lift and we'll give you guys the tour of the chassis and the rest of the drivetrain. Well, we'll start with the front end. This is the very desirable Dana 60 Ford High Pinion. Everything on this truck was completely rebuilt. So all of the internals have been gone through. All of the brakes are all fresh. And we converted the steering over to a high steer. As well as we outboarded a Chevy style steering box because there just was not nearly enough room on the inside for that Ford steering box. So we carried the theme down here and color matched the drive lines with the OD green. And we kept the desert tan on the engine transmission and transfer case. The excursion donor vehicle that we got the 7.3 out of was a two wheel drive. And so we sourced a Ford MP205 divorced transfer case. Goes back to a Dana 60 rear axle. And you can also see that we kept the original front and rear sway bars. We had all of those mounting brackets for the sway bars zinc plated. Here's the front. And then because of the lift, which is a six inch skyjacker, we made new connecting link for those sway bars. There's the factory Ford lift pump. The underside of the body was coated with a textured undercoating, same as the bed. It's got a MagnaFlow stainless muffler. And there you can see the air horns. We tried to detail everything underneath the truck the best we could, maintaining kind of that same military theme. So we stenciled when we built the truck in 2014, as well as putting part numbers and model numbers on all of the main components. So going to the rear, It's got a rear Dana 60, and then the fuel tank is a 45 gallon tank sourced from Aero. The hitch is a heavy duty Kurt hitch that we installed. And then you can see the rear winch is installed to the bumper. We also added a power tap for the rear battery connections. Auxiliary reverse lights that are LED. This truck is just still in just awesome condition considering we restored it 10 years ago. Several years ago, the truck was actually featured in Diesel Tech magazine. All right, guys, thanks for uh, walking down memory lane with me. It's fun to see this truck back in the shop here. If you like this video, please subscribe and post your comments and questions. Thanks for watching.